time. I'm in a different time zone now. Um, so let's go ahead and start. Nicole, can you press record for us? Okay, cool. All right, I'm going to share my screen because I just have a couple of slides. Okay, I love can you the color, Jen. Yes, isn't that nice? My new assistant started today, so yay. She picked my favorite color. <laughs> All right, so welcome to our team call, and um, we are excited to have everybody on tonight. Um, just a couple of announcements I wanted to talk about real quick. Summit is 16 days away, which is crazy to me. Um, so I'm so excited to see so many of you guys in just two weeks, and um, it'll be exciting to meet some of you guys for the first time, like in person, and then others, this will be like our third or fourth summit together. So. That is just around the corner, and um, gosh, yeah, so that is exciting. Next, I just wanted to give a, another quick shout out to Robin Lodal. She is our newest diamond coach on Fit Family Network. So Robin advanced her business to diamond last week. So congratulations, Robin. Um, she is doing great things with her team. Um, I forget her exact team name, but I know it has the word diamonds in it. Um, I'm in, I don't know, she'll have to tell you. But anyways, Robin, we are so proud of you. We're so excited for everything that you're doing with your business and we're cheering you on. And we know that this is just the start of what you're gonna be achieving in your business. So congratulations. Um, all right, so Success Club. We have some people who are already locked in at SC5. So shout out to Jenny. Uh, Beauregard, Caitlin Morris, and Alicia Albertson. You guys have already got your SC5 locked in, which is awesome. And then we've got lots of people with points on the board already. So great job to all of you guys. Emily, Jessica, Tracy, Kristen, Jenna, Heather, Tina, Riley, Tanya, um, Marceline, Sandy, Stephanie, Jason, and Sue Erickson. So great job, you guys. All right, just a quick reminder of everything that we have going on for July with our challenge pack specials. We have so many different options to get people plugged into a challenge group for this summer. Um, people love that quick fix, not necessarily 21 day fix. I just mean they like getting that quick result, having that light at the end of the tunnel sooner than later. So that's why I think that the 21 day fix is doing so great with a lot of you guys. So 21 day fix and the 22 21 day fix kickstarts and 22 minute hardcore. Um, don't forget that with 22 minute hardcore, you've got the option of Shakeology or performance line. So um, whenever you run into somebody that maybe isn't a Shakeology fan, you have that as well. And I've kind of been using that as an option for people who maybe already have Shakeology and they want to try the performance line. Maybe they're not even interested in 22 minute hardcore, but it's just a great way for them to try the performance line um, with the challenge pack. So, um, all right, our guest speaker. Um, I am so excited to um, have Stephen Cartagena um, as our guest speaker today. And I was actually, like, he's somebody that I had in mind to ask to be a guest speaker for our team for a while, but I was kind of, like, nervous to reach out for some reason, but then like his name just kept on popping up in my newsfeed randomly here and there. So I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to ask him. And I'm so glad that I did because we got to chat on the phone a little bit and just talk about each other's journeys and stuff. But he's actually Lindsay Matway's very first diamond coach. And he is now currently a three-star diamond coach. Um, he is a Success Club All-Star. He's the founder of the 813 Fit Club, which he started all the way back in 2011. And he's a member of the Tampa Market Council. So, um, okay, I'm going to take off my screen share, and then I'm just going to pass it over to you. I can figure that out. All right. Can you guys hear me okay? All right. I'm, I'm assuming you guys can hear me. Unfortunately, I'm not on the Zoom call due to I have a power outage um, at my house. So I'm, I'm actually sitting here with candles all around me with my notes. So this should be pretty fun. 
but that's dedication, right? Showing up to these team calls, even when there's a power outage. But uh, first thing I want to um, just thank, thank you, Jennifer, for actually reaching out to me and, um, and uh, asking me to be a part of your, your team call. It's very humbling. Um, I've always admired um, what you have done in the business and the rapid growth that you've had um, through Beachbody. And it's just been awesome to watch since you first started. So thank you guys so much for, for having me on the call and um, congratulate yourselves for being on the call because th these are the calls that um, you just need to plug into every week, you know, whatever um, calls that Jennifer does promote onto your, you know, your team pages, you guys got to make sure that you do show up and the, the ones that do show up are usually the ones that succeed in the business. So thank you guys for attending this call. Um, Jennifer wanted me to share my story, um, basically how I got started. And then I wanted to give you guys some tips as far as um, what I've learned over the years um, of being a Beachbody coach and uh, watching the growth of the bombshell dynasty basically from the beginning um, has just been a complete blessing in my life. Um, so I started back in 2010 um, before I started Beachbody. Um, I mainly worked call center jobs um, since the age of 19 all, all the way up until I started uh, Beachbody in 2010. I was just bouncing around the call center jobs, and um, my last job that I had, I actually got pretty comfortable in that in that job. I worked my way up to supervisor slash manager, managed about 16 to 20 people. Um, I showed up, I performed at work, but I absolutely hated my job. Like it, it was one of those things where my alarm went off and I just dreaded going into work. But since they paid me well, I had a good eight to five schedule. I had the weekends off. It was just a, you know, a moneymaker for me. It paid the bills, right? Um, but at the same time, I felt myself just kind of getting depressed, like kind of thinking to myself, is this what life is about? Like I'm, I'm just gonna continue to go to my nine to five job work for somebody else's dream and then have the weekends off and have to do it all over again, you know, and um, a lot of people actually enjoy doing that, but I was looking for something bigger. I wanted to start something of my own. I just didn't know what exactly that was. So in the, you know, while, while I was working at my last job, um, this is when P90X was getting popular. I started seeing like the infomercials, um, on TV and it sparked my interest. And uh, also around that same time, Lindsay Matway, you know, our, our upline coach, the founder of the Bombshell Dynasty, um, she actually posted an amazing YouTube transformation video that really inspired me. Um, basically showing her P90X transformation journey, um, showing like all the baby weight that she lost after she had London and how the program worked. And it inspired me. And um, believe it or not, I knew Lindsay um, for a couple of years before um, she started with Beachbody. Um, she, she was actually a local bartender that um, I used to, a bar, t a bar right by my house. And she used to take care of me and my friends all the time. And we became friends, but it was just more of, you know, anytime I saw her at the bar, she hooked me up with drinks, right? So we just became friends and um, became Facebook friends shortly after and always kept in touch. And uh, so, believe it or not, I made it a point to ask Lindsay the next time I went to the bar uh, about P90X while I'm ordering a drink, right? So uh, I did, and literally, Lindsay signed up to be a coach, I do believe, like a week before I actually asked her, okay? So, so she didn't know about the whole team building thing, you know, like building a huge team. The only thing that she knew about is like the websites and, oh, okay, you can actually purchase the program. Um, from me, if you if you want to, she just knew about the actual 25% commission. So <clears throat> I made a decision. Uh, I made a decision that I was going to complete the entire P90X program. No excuses. Go through the entire program. And um, unfortunately, I didn't buy it from Lindsay. <laughs> I actually ended up buying it off of Craigslist, which we joke about it um, to this day. All right. So. Um, the point is, I actually purchased from Craigslist, and I committed to the program. I mean, I was talking talking about 5 a.m. workouts. Um, it was definitely it was definitely something that 
um, was ch was challenging. Waking waking up early in the morning to do workouts. If I didn't do it early in the morning, I did it right after work. But I completed the entire 90 days, and I got in the best shape of my life, not only physically but mentally. All right. So n not even three weeks after I completed P90X, um, I got laid off from my job in the call center. Very down point in my life. Um, I really didn't know what I was going to do. I knew I didn't want to go back to the same circle of corporate America, call center jobs. I wanted to start something on my own. I just didn't know what. And funny thing is, while I was doing my P90X journey, there was this voice in my head when I wanted to quit you know, because P90X at that time was probably the hardest program and still one of the hardest programs I've ever done. There's this voice in my head keep um, kept on repeating to me any time that I was thinking about skipping a workout or quitting in the middle of a workout. Keep on going. There's something at the end of this. Keep on going. There's something at the end of this. And I kept on going. So <clears throat> when I got laid off from my job, very down point in my life, I, I started drinking a lot. I just didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. And <clears throat> I made a prayer to God just saying, God, just put something in my life that I can be passionate about, and then I'll go ahead and take it from there. And Lindsay, bless her heart, not even, I think, two to three weeks after I made that prayer, she posted a long note on Facebook basically inviting people to join her on her Beachbody coaching team. I thought to myself, I love P90X. Let me see what this is about. So I messaged her. Um, we went. We met up at a local Starbucks. Um, we talked to her about like two and a half hours, just about like goals. And she was, this is, now mind you, this is her first official coach business meeting. Okay, so this is uh, uh, something that she worked on really hard. <laughs> I can tell because she had a huge binder of notes that were just color coded with every single detail about the business in this binder. And I was very impressed. You know, she was very organized and just ready to rock it. So she basically showed me the plan. And I knew at that moment that that was, this is the opportunity that God's placing in my life to um, build not only my own business, but to impact people's lives by program, programs that I know personally work. And they actually did change my life. Okay. So I told Lindsay, I'm in, we have to make this work. All right. So obviously you know how big our team is now. I mean, that was back in 2010. Um, we're close to 80,000 coaches, I believe now. Um, I'm, I'm losing count all the time because we're going so quick, but it was an awesome journey to watch this since 2010, just grow over the years. Um, now, mind you, we didn't have the tools that you guys have today. There was a lot of trial and error. There was a lot of calls with Lindsay at 3 a.m. or working till 1 a.m. trying to implement systems that will be perfect for our team. Um, I'm not sure if you guys know this. We were actually um, the first team to be piloted for challenge groups. And Lindsay came up with the idea of running challenge groups on Facebook. So challenge groups were first introduced by our team to corporate. And then corporate actually did do test groups with us um, to see if they worked and something that we can implement it. So to this day, we are actually the team that is credited with challenge groups. So uh, it's, it's a pretty cool thing to witness, especially when it first started, then to now seeing it implemented throughout the entire company. But through, you know, through the beginning times, it was, it was very, very difficult. We had to do a lot of research. We had to do um, a lot of things that were uh, not available uh, like they are today for you guys. And the consistency, the, per the persistence of trying to make things work and, and doing research on our own to build our businesses and grow this huge team was the reason why we're so successful today. And I just wanna give you a couple of um, points that I learned um, over the years that have 
built me a, sol a solid foundation of a business. And it also was implemented into our team um, at the beginning times that you'll still hear all the way to this day. Uh, so in 2011, we actually, um, as Jennifer said, we started 813 Fit Club. Now, Fit Club is not for everybody, but it's something that uh, me and my success partner, Arnell um, Banawa, we actually started a Fit Club, and we basically provide free workouts for the community. And we have been the most consistent and well-run Fit Club um, in Beachbody. Uh, it's, it's pretty awesome. What we do is we, we actually provide a free workout for the communities. We, we are always promoting challenge groups coach opportunities to our community. And to this day, we still get anywhere from 16 to 40 people one night a week, which is another way to grow your business. Now, <clears throat> we created a Fit Club manual for everybody on the Dynasty team. So if, you get, if any of you guys are interested in starting a Fit Club in your local area, please message me. I can actually message you the Fit Club manual and um, basically, it, it tells you everything you need to grow a successful fit club. And that was one of the main things when, you know, at the beginning, when Team Dynasty started, we wanted to create things for the team that every coach can benefit from. And fit club has been one of the main sources of leads as well as coaches and customers um, for me to grow a business as well as Facebook. Okay. Um, so, yeah. If anybody wants that, just feel free to uh, message me, and I'll be happy to go ahead and uh, message you the Fit Club manual. All right, first thing I want to talk about is the importance of your why. I know you guys hear this all the time, right? Why, why, why? You know, your why. Um, the why is so important because life is going to hit you in the face. I mean, whether you like it or not, there's going to be ups and downs in your life, okay? And whenever those the roller coaster of life hits you in the face. Your beach body business has to have a strong why in order for you to refocus it. So matter no matter what you um, want to do with your life, you know, your beach body business needs to be that vehicle to get you where you want to go. And the why is supposed to be at the top of your beach body business. So the stronger the why the easier it is for you to build your business. So I don't know what, what your whys are, but you have to keep in mind that this business, you're going to face failure. You're going to face rejection. You're going to have that awesome coach that you thought was going to be a rock star, 15 star diamond. Next thing you know, they're canceling three months afterwards. Okay. It just happens. Right. And your why needs to refocus you to let it go and move on to the next person. So having your strong why is going to be paramount importance to building a strong foundation for your business because it does help you get through when the tough times come. And this business is a business of momentum, all right? Um, when everything's going right, you feel like you're on top of the world, right? You're getting new people on, these customers are getting on, your challenge groups are doing great, right? But when something stops your momentum that's where your why comes into place it's a it's a it's a tool for you to refocus on keeping your momentum up so spend if you don't know what your why is you know a lot of new coaches struggle with this i definitely recommend you just take 10 minutes to yourself think about what you want out of your business all right think about what you want to do um, in your life and this business is something that can get you to whatever goals you may have. All right. So why is your importance? Um, consistency in training and the vital behaviors is my next point. Um, there are so many trainings out there. Uh, it, it's just amazing. I mean, the, one of the main reasons why I love this company is because there's coaches out there that put out YouTube videos for you. Uh, just you, Google is your best friend. And there's no reason why a coach should not research their own business, research in Google, the coach online office, all the trainings in there. I'm sure Jennifer and Jennifer pr provides, uh, you know, trainings for your team. 
you got to plug into these trains in order for you to succeed. You can't, you can't uh, assume that you're going to grow a successful business if you don't research on your own and take it ownership of your business. The vital behaviors are, are big. I mean, we preach that every day, but believe it or not, the successful coaches in this business, all they do is the vital behaviors day in and day out, and they make sure that they do them. So it's, it's kind of like the foundation for their business. Anytime I have a setback in my business, I always come back to the vital behaviors and see where I'm lacking. Most of the time, it's personal development, right? Personal development is, that, is the one thing that I think is the key vital behavior because it makes your mind strong to deal with anything in this business. So continue to better yourself. You know, spend an hour of uh, hour a day on personal development. You know, usually when I'm around the house, just you know, getting some work done, I always have like a little audio playing in the background, like Les Brown, something to to help me get motivated and get my daily personal development while while I'm building the business. But the trainings are key. Sticking to the vi vital behaviors are key, and. If you stick to that day in and day out, there's no way you won't succeed in this business. All right. Third point, focus on your own story and becoming a better person. Do not compare your success with anyone else. Comparing, if you compare in this business, you're not going to win at your business. All right. The only thing that you should be focused on is bettering yourself and sharing your story and inviting people, right? There's so many times I hear just stories of coaches quitting because they compare themselves to other people. Each person has their own story, all right? The bottom line is you have to create your own story. You have to show people who you are. Right. So my advice to you, if you're just starting off as a new coach, commit to a program, right? Put everything you have into a beach body program, the nutrition, the, the workouts, don't skip any workouts, treat, treat your workouts as a business meeting, right? And create a transformation of yourself that you can share with your network. That alone is going to help you get customers, all right? You're becoming a walking billboard for your business, and that is so important. I've always said that as long as you're a coach, you should always be on a program no matter what. There's no weeks off, you know, there's no two weeks off. Always be on a program and always show people that you are a product of the product, and this is what you're about, because you think about it. Beachbody is going to put out those infomercials, right? They're going to show those late night infomercials to you guys. They're going to promote it. Now they're promoting on the radio, Beachbody on demand. Your network needs to know that anytime they hear about 21 day fix or, you know, Shakeology or, or something on the infomercial, if they see that or hear that from another outside source, your network needs to know that you're the go-to person for that product. When they think of Beachbody, excuse me, they think of you, okay? So, so how are you doing with that? Can you honestly say, look at your business right now and your entire network at this point, if 21 Day Fix is mentioned through one of their friends, are they going to think about you? And that's how you got to look at your business. They need to know that you are Beachbody and you, you offer that support to them if they decide to join you, all right? But the big thing is do not compare. Please don't compare with other coaches because it's only gonna hold you back from what you're truly, um, from truly growing your business, okay? It holds you back from doing your vital behaviors. Why is this person three star? Why is this person just made diamond? No, you can't think of like that. You have to think of, you know what? I need to look, I need to reevaluate where I'm at in my business and start doing my vital behaviors and start refocusing on my why 
and why I'm doing this business and why I initially start to, started to do this business. Even if you became a discount coach, right, um, because you are interested in the product, you have to refocus and go ahead and commit to the programs, commit to the Shakeology. The rest will fall into place. What happens when you, you know, commit to programs, commit to um, um, doing your workouts every day? You start naturally sharing with people, right? You start naturally sharing with people around your network. So you're planting seeds, right? You're planting seeds. People are starting to know that you're actually doing the programs and you're committing to it. So that is a big, big part of your business. Always stick into a program. Do not compare to anybody, right? And focus on bettering yourself, all right? All right. Um, let's see what else I got. I was going to play like a, I know you guys probably heard, um, it's a Rocky um, Balboa clip uh, <laughs> talking about, um, you know, uh, it's not about, uh, how many times you get hit, it's about you keep on moving forward. And there was a clip I wanted to play before my power outage over here in Tampa. But um, so I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and wrap up with this. You know, what life is going to come at you, whether you like it or not. All right. You're going to you're going to experience failure in this business. You're going to experience success in this business. All right. But the important thing is, is whenever you are feeling down in your business, it's always important to remember your why, stick to your vital behaviors, right? And go back to the basics. Go back to the basics of doing things that you enjoy in your business, whether it be connecting with people, right? Um, checking in on people, checking in on um, some previous um, people on your list that may have shown, shown interest. You know, if they've shown interest initially, and then you don't hear from them, there's no, nothing wrong with revisiting them and seeing how they're doing um, to see if they can get on, right? Start connecting with people. Start sharing um, what you're about personally, right? Sh share what you enjoy through Facebook. Um, start looking for groups that you can connect with in Facebook. You know, if your hobbies are sports, and st start, start looking for sports groups. Start, start looking for, you know, if you have a passion for movies, Start connecting with people with similar interests with you so that they, they will actually connect with you and more likely do business with you than somebody who you don't connect with. All right. So that's all I got, Jennifer. Um, I'm going <laughs> to, I hope that was good enough. Um, I'm going to leave it open for you guys. If you guys have any questions. I know, yeah. Hey, Stephen, this is Nicole. I think Jen might be off. I don't know if her computer died, but she, she wanted me to, to okay. finish up the hosting part. So, But um, thank you very much for the wonderful um, tips today. And it seems to be the theme. We had an earlier Zoom with Arnold today, and it was revitalizing um, your business and yourself. And this is just another, it feels like another part to that puzzle, at least for me personally today. So I, I right. appreciate that a lot. Um, before I wrap it up, does anybody have any questions? Go ahead. You can just unmute yourself and then go ahead and ask. All right. I can't tell if anyone else is unmuting or not, but um, I have a question. Um, realistically, how much time goes into doing a fit club? And I'm not using it as an excuse, but it is an excuse. <laughs> um, my husband travels all the time and we don't have family in the area. And so, you know, you don't want to start something and then not, I'm a 110% person. And so I don't want to start something and then find out that it's more than Honestly, time allows me to. My kids would rewire my house if I left them alone here. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a great question. Um, basically, uh, I'll just um, share what we do every week. Um, I hold a fit club every Tuesday night um, in downtown Tampa, okay? And uh, I usually get there like anywhere between 4.30 and 5 o'clock. And then I don't usually leave there till probably about after eight, eight thirty at the latest. Okay, so you want to generate 
uh, I'd say at least three and a half hours of your time if you're going to start a fit club um, one day a week um, just because you want to get there early, you want to do the setup. So I would say total um, just to be safe would be three and a half hours um, uh, for one day or one night. Okay. Did that answer your question? <laughs> yes, yes, it did. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and then another another point just to add to that, um, you know, fit clubs are awesome. Like it, the the thing I like about fit club is you get to, you know, right now, you know, Beachbody is so um, social media based, right? And there, there's face you can build through Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, but fit club gives you that opportunity to get that face to face communication, and you know we we keep our fit clubs um, fun too. You know it's a group workout, so you know we have everybody. Uh, you know we have some pump up music before. You know we motivate them during the workouts, and then afterwards we you know every other week we have like coach opportunity meetings. Um, we're actually also in the middle middle of doing like a 21 day summer slim down challenge, which we promoted and got like some um, people to join. So they have, you know, the Tuesday night, they can come into our fit club and um, actually have like a little accountability session, you know, to see how they're doing the whole week. So th there's just so many different ways that you can connect with people there. And um, the, one of the main reasons why we've been so successful in running it since 2011 um, and not to toot our own horn, uh, like according to shape.com shape magazine, we're actually ranked in the top um, 21 for free fitness classes in the USA. So um, that, that was a big accomplishment for us. But the main reason was um, that we got that is because of what, you know, how we serviced our, our fit clubbers, you know, we made it fun for them. We, we try to keep the energy up, right? So if you are thinking about, um, starting a fit club, um, just keep in mind that it does take consistency, hard work. You got to treat it like a job, right? So if you're going to go all in 110%, like you said, you know, show up early, get everything prepared and make it fun for your fit club members. And then just, um, make it a safe haven for them to de-stress from, you know, their job that they're coming from straight from work. You know what I mean? So just treat it as a fit club class but also treat it as a great third party tool to grow a business. Yeah. And Steven, are you following uh, tapes then, or do you have, do you do live instruction workouts for the fit clubs? Yeah, great, great question. Um, we actually have a big uh, um, projector screen, right? Um, that, we do follow the workouts, um, you know, from a projector. And then once a month, we also have a live workout, um, which we do it out at our um, place called Curtis Hickson Park in downtown. So it's an outdoor workout where we have a live instructor come out there and do, um, you know, either insanity boot camp style workouts. Um, we also do like some, um, we call them urban assault runs where we have like a little um, 5K through downtown with, you know, P90X workouts in between. So to answer your question, once a month we're outdoors doing a live workout. And then the other, the other nights we actually do it from the projector screen. Okay, great. Um, did anybody have any other questions? Hi, this is Victoria. Can you hear me? I can. Yep. I have one question. I normally don't talk, so I'm sorry. But um, this was very interesting. As far as when you started the Fit Club in 2011, how far were you as far as your coaching rank with your partner, with your success partner? Was this something you used to build your business early on, or did you wait to hit a particular level before you went ahead and started that? Great question. Yeah, we were actually, we just turned, uh, I believe, diamond, diamond coaches when we started our fit club. Okay. Um, but to answer your question, as far as um, like you starting one, or do you have to be a, a particular rank? Not necessarily. But the only thing I would recommend is, um, you know, that you're actively building your business and actively doing the research, plugging into the trainings. So like, let's say that you have people that, you know, come into your fit club, you need to be able to educate them, right? You need to be able to educate them 
on what you're about, you know, what the programs are about, you know, if they are interested in the coaching opportunity, you need to educate them in that. So Diamond is when we first started the Fit Club, but if you, you know, you can start it at any time. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Great. Does anybody else have any questions at all? No? Okay. I have a question, Stephen. I always like to ask coaches, what, um, what is your all-time favorite PD book? Do you have an all-time favorite? Absolutely. My favorite one is The Slight Edge as well as Eat That Frog. Um, Eat That Frog is actually one of the first books I've, I read in, when I started my coaching journey. Um, but I, I was, I'm still to this day a procrastinator. I'm not going to lie to you. So, yeah, it does help out. Like, I, I always reference that book. The Slight Edge is another one that I, that I personally like. And another one that I liked was The Mentor Leader by um, Tony Dungy. That's another good book. So those are Eat That Frog and Slight Edge right up there. And The Mentor Leader by Tony Dungy is, is close as well. <laughs> so. Awesome. Okay, well, I guess I will wrap it up if nobody has any more questions for our guest speaker tonight. Um, I would like to close in saying, as I had stated earlier, I've been on three Zooms with Jen today, and um, it's, it's been a very um, eye-opening day for me in my coaching business and I have been unplugged for the first time in my coaching business for, for many reasons and um, I think today was my wake-up call and in, in getting back to my why like Stephen was talking about and one thing we, you know, as Stephen had said about comparing ourselves to others, I would like to add this, that I guess what I struggled with these last several months is comparing myself to where I was a year ago. And, you know, there's that thing where we compare ourselves to other coaches that sort of thing, but I also found that comparing myself to where I was when I was hitting it, when I was um, that quote-unquote rock star coach, and I think I let, let myself put too much focus and pressure on what I, what I was and how I lost that and focusing on not where I came from, but where I need to pick up and get going. And I wanted to share that because I think a lot of coaches feel that way. I mean, <clears throat> look at us, those who have been in it two plus years, I've been in it two and a half years. Things change, life changes, we change, our team changes, everything changes. And we talk about adaptability in this business, perseverance um, in this business, and I know that I spent a lot of time maybe feeling sorry for myself, um, embarrassed about what I, how I have personally let my business down, my team down, and and it just got me thinking that you know, stop that. Stop comparing yourself to what you were and, and think about how are you going to get back to where you were. And again, that does start back with going back to basics. Um, Stephen talked about it. Arnold talked about finding that thing that you enjoy doing, whether it was recruiting, whether it was running challenge groups. For me, I used to run a free challenge group every month. That was a very key part of my coaching because from there I was able to put them into challenge groups. I haven't ran a free challenge group in four months, and that is is big for me. And I just 
I just recently am starting another one. So the point is, is getting back to doing what you loved about it and not becoming overwhelmed on those, um, on, on what your past has, has proven for you. So I, I hope that made sense. And um, again, thank you everyone. And thank you, Stephen, again, for, for being on the call and uh, putting the time in and for everyone showing up tonight and um, using this to move yourself and your, your business forward. So I will end the call and everybody stay Stay safe and dry because it is fiercely storming where I live as well. So, okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you, guys. Have a good night.